Hello everyone. I hope you all are enjoying our core content. We have uploaded the complete playlist of OS, then OOPs, pointers, and DBMS. So now I'm here to announce a next playlist, next subject that is coming, and that is computer network. I hope you are excited as I am. So let me give you the crisp, the overview of what we have planned for you, what the playlist contain from the very beginning, from the introduction, from the, you know, the spark, how the fire has blown, how internet has evolved, what are the protocols, the standards of internet, how networks have evolved, then to complete depth, complete in detail of what is seen, what are the different protocol, what are the protocols, what is TCP IP protocol, all the layers we will discuss in complete detail. We'll go on to network security, cryptography, all the interesting things, mobile networking, mobile IP, complete playlist you will enjoy, you will get the complete understanding of the subject. So let me share my screen and tell you and give you the glimpse of the course overview, what we have for you, right? So let me share my screen first. Okay, so yeah, I have made this for you. And we have divided into several modules. In module one, what you will get the introduction. In chapter one, the what is the introduction? The how network, the brief history of network, how networks have evolved, what are the protocols, the standard of internet, what is ARPANET, the complete introduction we will see, the spark is how the spark is blown out. Okay, then in chapter two, we will be starting with the OSI model first, and then we will move to the TCP IP protocol. That is our main model, the IP, TCP IP protocol that we will learn, right? All the different layers, the application layer, transport layer, network layer, all the different layers that TCP IP model has, we will study it in complete detail. Okay, then we will see the different technologies, LAN, RAN, the switch LAN, switch RAN, then LAN, we have wired LAN, wireless LAN, this thing we will study in module one, the introduction part. Okay, then module two, we will be starting with our first layer that is network layer. We will see what is network layer, where it is located. We will see the, so many interesting diagrams and figures, examples out there. We will ex be explaining all these things into different analogies so that will be very clear to all of you. Then switching issues, then what is switching, what is packet switching, what are the issues in network layer. Right, then we will see in network layer, we will see the IPv4, the internet protocol things. What is an internet protocol? How the, you know, how data is transferring from one host to another, from one system to another. Okay, then what are the addressing in the address spaces? How, what is the address space of your network, of your packet, where your data is sent from one network to another, right? Then what is classful addressing, classless addressing? We will be explaining this with a beautiful example. Then we will see about the delivery and forwarding, how IP packets deliver from one position to another, what is the forwarding mechanism. Then what is IPv4? First, we will study internet protocol version four. Then we will be moving on to the latest version, version six also. That also we'll be studying in complete detail. Okay, so in IPv4, we will be studying what is an IP. Then an IPv transfer, one uh, we transfer data from one host to another right from one system to another and in that ip we call that data data gram data plus telegram data transfer what are the difference between packets and data gram data gram complete format header format what is there in header field we will discuss it in complete detail header fields we have version we have fragmentation fragmentation we have a complete video fragmentation the options field and header, then the checksum, how checksum is calculated, what is the complete IP package, how the packet go from one layer to another, how the packet flow, we'll be studying it in complete with a good, beautiful example, beautiful diagram, okay? So next we will be having then uh, addressing ARP, address routing, address addressing route, address routing. What is address routing? How addresses move from one place to another? What are the address? How packets move, right? Then we will see about IC, MPV4, mobile IP. In mobile IP, we will see the agents of mobile IP, the three phases of mobile IP, all these things we will be studying. 
then we have unicast routing unicast routing uh, then multicast routing in unicast we will have so many algorithms we will see bellman ford algorithm distance vector algorithm path vector algorithm link state algorithm all we will be studying in great detail then multicast routing broadcast routing we will also see multicast routing we will see the multicast uh, routing addressing routing algorithms igmp we will study okay so next come to the module that we have for transport layer what is now we will be starting with transport layer the next important layer of tcp ip model what are transport layer services we will see so many services it provides process to process communication it provides encapsulation multiplexing what is the addressing mechanism of transport layer okay so what is the transport layer where it is located why we need a transport layer Do you guys know if you want to transfer your data from one system to another, but your system has so many applications open, right? Gmail, WhatsApp, but you want to send message from WhatsApp only. So how do you how your system know? You can connect two systems, but how you can connect two process? So that you for that you will need a transport layer. So how that happens? How the data data transfers? that we will see in great detail then transport layer protocols we have so many protocols right from the unidirectional protocol we will go on to bidirectional protocols then the different protocols the different high level protocols tcp udp and sctp the three protocols we have in transport layer that we will have a complete complete playlist for all this protocols there we study about what is this protocols why it's needed where it's located then there we will study flow control error control congestion control connectionless connection oriented services timers how checksum is calculated all this we will be studying in the transport layer okay so next come to the application layer in application layer first we will study what is client server paradigm how is client and server what is the uh, relationship between that then we will see about the host configuration dhcp the working of dhcp the different cases case studies of dhcp introduction the need then we will study about dns the very interesting topic dns the need of dns name spaces and gap solution security compression all these we will be studying in great detail then about protocols of application layer we have these four protocols telnet ssh ftp tftp we will be having a complete complete video of all these protocols okay so let's move on to then we have network management how management happens in a network what is multimedia this comes the interesting interesting topics multimedia digitalizing audio and video compression thing what is rtp rtcp all this the multimedia thing the interesting multimedia thing we will be studying in great detail then we have seen ipv4 right then now we will study the newer version of internet protocol ipv6 what are the protocols of ipv6 the addressing mechanism then icmpv6 okay so internet protocol version 4 and version 6 both we will be studying in great detail okay let's move on then we have the blast module the security module now you have transferred the data packets right you have been transferring data packets from one host from one system to another from process to another process don't you think in between if for intruder attacks if an intruder copies your you know you send a package from one host to another and intruder attacker you know just snatch out your packet modify it how do you come to know do you have a security mechanism do ip have a security mechanism yes ip have a security mechanism what are the network security what is cryptography cryptography is so beautiful it's you just have to watch this video this going to be the very interesting video cryptography what are ciphers message integrity how do you know you check the message is intact what you have sent what sender has sent what is received by the receiver is same or not authentication user which user has sent it, it it has to be the packet has to be from the same user itself right so match is authentication message integrity ciphers what is a cipher that you will be getting the complete understanding right then internet security we will be studying network layer security different network layer security different video on network layer security transport layer security application layer security right then we will last will be seen about firewalls okay so that will be the ending video we will be studying right from the very beginning the how 
you know that history right from the history the beginning part to complete that now what we are having the latest version how the security are security issues are managed what is the new versions that we will be studying great detail okay so i hope you will enjoy this playlist so that's the complete overview what we have been what we have decided to be what we have been planning to be in this video so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this playlist thank you